Francisco and I just love apples. We've had so many beautiful apple trees growing around the castle. Sir Francisco adores apple picking, and sometimes I think he eats just as many as he picks. So today we're going to share with you a fun craft called apple stamping pumpkins. Did you know that you can use fruits and vegetables to paint and create amazing artwork? It's so simple to do and a lot of fun, and it requires very few supplies. You probably have a lot of these already at home, and if you don't, you can pick them up at your local department store, or grocery store, or your nearest apple tree. So this is the things you're going to need. So our supply list today includes an apple cut in half by an adult, some orange paint, some black paint or some construction paper or whatever you're going to use to decorate your pumpkin, a paper plate, some paper or canvas or whatever you want to use to put your artwork on, a paintbrush and some water. Make sure you take care of your paintbrushes for later. And of course you need some paper towels for those happy accidents that can happen and we don't want to have any of those because mom gets mad when you paint on the table. So now that we have all of our supplies ready, let's begin our craft. All right. So first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need our apple cut in half by an adult. And of course, we already have this. So next, we're gonna have our orange paint on a paper plate and our brown because we're gonna use that for our core of the top of the pumpkin. So next, we're gonna take our apple and after you cut it in half, you are going to want to take a paper towel and blot it because you'll have apple juice on there and you're not gonna want that with the paint. Okay, so we have it blocked. All right, now once we do that, we are ready. So we are going to take our apple and we're going to run it through the orange paint and slide it around. And after we do that, and we've got it on there real good, and if you want to, you can even take your paintbrush and paint it on there. And once we get it on there real good, we are going to take it and put it on our paper and we're going to hold it for just a second. Pull it up, and don't worry, I'm gonna show you what to do if it don't fill all the way in. We're gonna do another one right here. Okay, and let's do one more. I'll do right here. Okay, now what you can do, and this is where your brush comes in, take your paint, your orange paint, and you're gonna fill it in. Sometimes you have to do this because sometimes the fruit does not go all the way on the paper, but it's okay. It's okay. Painting with fruits and vegetables are a lot of fun and it's a lot easy and it don't require any major work. And I know you're saying, well, if you've got to do all this filling in, why well, use the apple? Well, the apple gives you your shape. And it's a lot of fun. It's also a good way to use your vegetables and your fruits if you have a lot left over from eating and making those wonderful apple pies that so Francisco just loves to eat, and sometimes he eats too many of those as well. He gets a tummy ache. All right, now that we have our little pumpkins done with our apples, we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna put it in the water. Remember, always take care of your brush. Now we need to add our stem. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna put it in the brown. Now I know a lot of people would use green, but remember, a little while back, I told you about Sir Francisco eating a bunch of green apples and getting a belly ache. He is still kind of sore about that, so we do not use green just yet. And also, if you wanted to, you could use red and make an apple using an apple. But because it's fall and it's the holidays, we want to make today. And that is basically all you do. Next, you would take construction paper or a Sharpie, 
and decorate your pumpkins. You could do an entire picture. You could do a pumpkin patch using the same apple with the stamping. It's really pretty when you do that. So now we are all done with our apple stamping. Now that we're ready to display our art, you can get your family and friends together and create an entire pumpkin patch. And remember, Sir Francisco and I want to hear and see what you're doing too. So I always post your creations to our Facebook or Twitter account so we can see yours as well. And Sir Francisco's happy because he gets to eat the other half of the apple. So until next time, you keep creating and we'll see you soon. Bye!